Hey guys, it's me Rahul and I'm back with another video. The problem with Android is that there are a lot of apps and it is hard to know which one works and which one is the best for you. So these are the top 11 best battery saver apps for Android that actually works. Hope you guys enjoy. First app on the list is Greenify. Most of you watching this video might know about this application, but for those who don't, I will explain how it works and how you can use this app to save battery. Greenify is an application that allows you to hibernate apps. That means you can kill background running apps. If you take a look at your battery stats, you can see that background running apps like Facebook use a small battery power than other apps. So hibernating these background running apps can really make a noticeable difference in your mobile's battery life. Unify has three different modes, one for non-root users and two for root users. The simple and the easiest mode is the root mode, but if you want to use that, you need root access. The difference between these modes is that in root mode, Greenify will do everything automatically and silently. But in non-root mode, Greenify pops up a forced stop message of each application. So this method is a bit slow. And on the third mode, which is called Boost, that mode has a couple of cool things, cool additional features that you can enable. If you want to use the Boost mode, you must have Xbox installer installed on your phone. This is how you can hibernate background running apps. Open Greenify, then select and add the apps that you want to hibernate to the list. To hibernate apps easily, you can add Hibernate Now shortcut to the home screen. And also you can enable auto hibernation, which will kill all the background running apps when you turn off the screen. Next, we are going to look at an app which does not require root access. The name of this app is ShutApp, clever name. I found out about this app recently. What this app does is it will kill background running apps. One of the downside of this app is it is a bit slow. That is because it is not doing everything directly. Since it does not require root access, this app has to kill the background running apps using an indirect method. With that being said, this is the best battery saver app for known root users. This app has this thing called Magic Ball, which is a floating widget shortcut to kill background running apps. So you don't have to open up the app every time, which is cool. If you don't like this widget, you can of course turn it off. Moving to the next one, it is called Monochrome. This app will turn your screen into black and white when your battery hits the low battery percentage, usually 50%. This app will not make a huge difference in battery life if your phone screen is in AMOLED. It requires root access. However, if you want to use this app on your non-rooted phone, you have to execute an ADB command, which you can find on this app's Google Play Store page to grant write secure settings permission. It works great with a phone that has AMOLED panel. One of the things that I like to see in this app is the option to manually set the low battery percentage but the developers actually said that if they provide an option to manually set the low battery percentage value, this app has to run in the background to work which will negatively affect the battery life. So that is why they didn't include that option in this app. Moving on to the next app on this list, it is called Dose. It is made by the same developers who made the Shut App application. This app will prevent the apps from accessing internet while your screen is off. So the background running apps won't consume a lot of mobile data and battery power. There is also an option to whitelist applications. Amplify is one of the top battery saver apps that every Android enthusiast recommends. But it is not that easy to use. To be honest, I don't know exactly how this app works. But using this app, you can control how often your device can wake up and how long it can stay awake. You can set the wake clocks interval for each services. Wake clocks are basically a power managing software mechanism, which makes sure that your Android device doesn't go into deep sleep. So delaying these wake clocks will result in better battery backup. I'm still learning about this app, so I will leave a link to a video as well as to a XDA thread in the description, so check it out. Servicely is the next app on this list. It is basically a task killer. But the speciality of this app is that it will continue killing background apps on the hit list every interval. So every interval, this app will check whether any services on the hit list are running and if any services are running, this app will shut it down. It is pretty easy to add any app to the hit list, open the app, then tap on the add a new app to the hit list, then select the apps you don't want to run in the background, then tap on the stick mark and done. There are some other cool features in this app too. If you don't know much about Android, don't mess with it. Process Guru Lite is the next app on this list and it does not require root access. This app might be the simplest and very close to being a gimmicky app because honestly, it doesn't do much. 
What it does is it will automatically disable Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and clears cache when the screen turns off. And when you turn it back on, it will enable all these services. Surprisingly, while I was testing this app, I got around 30 minutes of extra battery life. I don't know how. Kernel Editor is actually what I would call an advanced application. That means if you use this app without knowing the simple tech terminologies, there is a slight chance of permanently damaging your phone. So use this app only if you know what you are doing. And of course, it requires root access. With that being said, this app will let you change CP maximum and minimum frequency and a lot of other cool things. If you set the maximum frequency a little bit lower, your phone will only consume less power which will result in longer battery life. But you are sacrificing a little bit of performance here. There is also a couple of other things that you can do using this app to extend battery life even more. But if you don't know what you're doing, then please don't do it. Pixel of Battery Saver is a bit similar to Monochrome. This app works best with the phones that have AMOLED panels. This app will overlay a black mesh layer over the UI. AMOLED panels display black color by not turning the pixels on. So since this app overlay black lines, which means less pixels to worry about, your screen or phone will only consume less power, which means more battery life. This app has different levels. The higher the level, the darker the screen and the phone will only consume less power. This is a great app if you don't want to sacrifice your phone's performance to increase battery life. Deep Sleep Battery Saver might be the easy to use battery saver app that actually works because all you need to do is just select a profile. This app puts your phone into deep sleep mode and wakes up your phone at specified intervals. You can set the intervals from the profile tab. Each profile has different intervals. It is definitely an app that I recommend and it requires root access. Last one on the list is Dose Battery Saver. This app is very similar to Greenify. The difference is just the UI. The UI of this app is a bit more flashy and materialistic than Greenify. If you know any good battery saver apps other than the ones that I featured in this video, please comment down below. It will definitely help a lot of people. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, let me know. And that's all guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then definitely give a big thumbs up and I will see you guys again in my next video. Goodbye. Swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in I could swear that this room has been running out of air And now it's starting to spin